Hello. Oh, let me turn the TV down. Sorry. Okay. Hello, everyone. It's Audrey with Audrey's Variety Show. Welcome to a Cardinal Mind section on my channel where I talk about current events and how it can pertain to the Bible. And this time around, as the title suggests, it's about the um, uh, Texas woman uh, here in, in Texas, <laughs> myself, uh, that um, uh, was detained in Dubai and um, recently came back from, from being detained there. And uh, praise the Lord that she is back and I know that there's a whole thing about her attitude and I just find it very weird that that I mean men are just I won't say uh, just there's just this group of men that are just just dying and vying for some type of attention and I just find it very weird like everything has to revolve around this weird red blue pill plight that they are trying to keep forcing down people's throats I don't, I don't honestly don't get it, but, um, some, some people are calling her sassy or had a bad attitude and that's why she was detained and all this. And honestly, I find it ridiculous. Uh, and the reason I say that is because if you put yourself in that situation, you know, showing emotions is not a bad thing and there are parts of the of, of the world where especially women showing any type of um any type of this this light is being weird any type of um emotion is you know looked down upon so just bear that in mind i know you know like see once again, black women have bad attitudes, and that's why she was detained, and you know she was punished, and all of that. I find that just silly, just ridiculous. Um, you know, yes, we should go to a different country and places um, with respect and decorum, decorum, and common sense. Apparently, the woman didn't know that yelling. Um, is something in which you can get put in jail for in in Dubai you know like that's not something you think about you know should we, we be hollering and screaming and all that other kind of stuff no but in her situation where she was literally getting run game on as a tourist and you hear about these kind of stories all the time where people get taken advantage of and given a hard time simply because they're tourists um, uh, I saw the interview where she talks about how her and her friend were in some type of vehicle and something happened and they detain her and don't want to give her her things back unless she pays an exorbitant amount of money. You hear about these kinds of things all the time, which is why I get leery about going anywhere outside of the United States, to be honest. But no, but... Um, I thank God that the woman is, was able to come back and was able to uh, retrieve her things from the rental car company that was detaining her things um, without having to pay anything. So that is a wonderful story of God's grace and mercy upon her and a great story. And that's really all I wanted to say about this. Um, look at the positive sides of things and not, you know, these red and blue pill nonsense that keeps being perpetuated for really no reason like the woman was regardless of her attitude you know i think it was very extreme to be detained over an argument nothing physical happened nothing you know life-threatening happening um so i'm grateful that they were able to bring her back home and she didn't have to pay to get her things back. So I'm uh, so praise the Lord for that. So press, express some positivity and be glad. Be glad about, um, you know, harsh and outrageous things happening to people overseas and then actually be able to, being able to come back because that doesn't always happen. And especially for it being 
three months. Uh, some people are over there for years. We have plenty of Americans that are being held in prisons, and she wasn't even in prison. She was just having to stay within the country and just couldn't come back, travel ban from coming back home. And there's people in worse situations, so pray for them and pray for God's mercy and favor upon their lives because nobody wants to be separated from their country and from their family and friends, their home. For things here in our country just sound ridiculous, but mean something to other people elsewhere. So yeah, so do a little bit of kindness and compassion, please, for others. But all right, bye-bye.